primary goals are to teach you breathing development from the outside in and the inside out, along with a simply understood vocabulary of breathing. Please be mindful that many traditional or alternative health practitioners may know too little about optimal breathing and try to downplay its importance. We hope this program will inspire them to learn more about breathing. Basically, each extreme of breathing is either strictly stimulating, as shown on the left side or chest of the seesaw, or strictly calming, as shown on the right side or belly of the seesaw. But there is never an only of either. It is always a mixture of the two, albeit sometimes way too one-directional, such as overstimulation, overcharged, or reactive or over-relaxation, undercharged, lethargic, or passive. The key is the balance between the two sides of stimulation and calming. These tests will greatly add clarity and meaning to this program. Get some measurements for immediate feedback on your current breathing abilities, strengths, and weaknesses. The tests cover physical, mental, emotional, postural, and other possible breathing-related factors. Over 75,000 people have taken this detailed, comprehensive online test so far. During an inhalation, the diaphragm will descend until it is almost flat. During an exhalation, it will rise way up to help squeeze the air out of the lungs. A well-moving diaphragm gives these organs, including the heart, lungs, liver, stomach, spleen, and kidneys, shown here, many thousands of massages per day. All things being equal, a larger muscle works with less effort than a smaller one trying to do the same task. Making the diaphragm larger helps to slow down the breathing rate as it moves more air with each in and out breath and therefore needs to work less to supply oxygen to the body, thus improving the oxygen cost of breathing. Good open posture is indispensable to good breathing. Of the more than 20 primary and accessory muscles involved in breathing, almost all have a postural function or are aided or impeded by poor posture. The PRP is an on-the-back resting position similar to the Trendelenburg version while adding bolsters or pillows and towels to shape the chest so one breathes easier and supports the head and neck to keep one's throat open. Our Breathing Fundamentals program is not meant to replace exercise, but it is a gentle form of that. We believe many modern exercise programs are too arduous. You can read Dr. Majid Ali's Oxygen Protocol for the Treatment of Cancer for more on exercise excessiveness. Our second priority is to help you develop your breathing to make it permanently larger, smoother, stronger, easier, and more balanced. We have a school for advanced aspects of these techniques and exercises. Once you get fairly good with the various aspects of this program, you might be able to guide a family member through some of them. We are here to back you up when needed for a small phone consultation fee. If you wish to work outside the family, you want to attend our school and become eligible for the advanced training this work might entail. Breathe in as vigorously as you can without causing pain. Exhale. Release the strap using your thumb release. And check in. Raise your arms, lower your arms, keep maintain your ribs up. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Exhale from four down to three. Relax your ribs.
So when you're going inhale and when you're exhaling, you want it to still stay at the top of the tube waffling a little bit. I'll demonstrate. 